I took a trip to the New York Botanical Garden today for a preview of the orchid show. Now when this airs on February 17th, this will be open to the general public. I'm going to show you everything I saw, including beautiful blooms of oncidiums, cattleyas, cymbidiums, vandas, dendrobiums, you name it, it was here. The show is really nice, and if you live in New York, I highly recommend you check it out. The New York Botanical Garden is in the Bronx, and there's a Metro North stop that leaves you right in front of it. This was really nice, and for those of you who don't live in New York, I hope you see the beauty of all of the flowers in this video and feel like you're there. So I hope you enjoy the show. This zygopedlum smelled amazing. It was so delicious. It was like a spicy, chocolatey fragrance. Oh my goodness. cold outside today it was probably about 30 degrees but very windy and the inside of the conservatory was really hot and humid of course because it has tropical plants in it and not only did they have orchids here but they had hoyas they had succulents and other parts as well and um, I was in awe of the Hoya pubicalix and I had to take a picture of the bloom because I've been trying to bloom mine for two years and it just doesn't happen, but hopefully this year will be the year. This is the Shari Baby Sweet Fragrance, the famous chocolate orchid. And the fragrance is so strong, you can smell it from very far away. There's a lot of different types of Shari Baby orchids, but if you get the sweet fragrance one, that one is the strongest smelling. And this one you could smell from really, really far away. It had so many flowers as well. Highly recommend you get that one if you're new to orchid growing.
There were a lot of hybrids in this show. I noticed actually that I didn't really spot too many species and it makes sense. Hybrids are a lot easier to grow and species require temperatures, humidity, and moisture levels that they typically get in the wild. So hybrids are a lot more forgiving. There were a lot of really beautiful Cattleyas. Some of these I actually have as well. So it was pretty cool to see them. There were some popular hybrids, some that I've never seen before, but they were all very, very beautiful. This vanda was enormous, by the way. It's the Vandopsis gigantea, and I can't even... It was like the size of a 40-inch TV. It was huge. This nobly orchid smelled like fresh linen. It was so nice. I will not forget it. It was gorgeous. I'd love to bloom a vanda like this one day. I only have luck with the smaller types that are crossed with Neophoenicia, but man, one day I would like to get blooms. Vandas require a lot of humidity. They require a lot of light. I can definitely give them the light. I cannot give them the humidity. They, um, I pot them up, I put them in airy mix, but I have to water them very frequently. These cymbidiums are also really nice. I've never grown a cymbidium, so it was cool to see them. This was the best part of the show for me. There were mannequins adorned in flowers and floral themed outfits, and I thought they were adorable.
This mannequin was my favorite. It had a Paphiopedlum book bag with a Paphiopedlum inside of it. The flowers on the leg were gorgeous. There were different kinds of orchids, mostly Phalaenopsis there. And my favorite part was the headphones with the Cattleyas. It was very beautiful. I enjoyed this orchid show and it's really motivating me to repot everything that I need to repot before the spring comes and before everything starts new growths. I want to make sure everything is set up for success after seeing all these beauties. And um, I enjoyed the mannequins, seeing all these flowers, especially the ones that I don't grow, like the cymbidiums. Let me know down below what part of the orchid show was your favorite and I will see you in another video. Bye everyone!